Hello there! This is DBT, and these are the rooms. And alright, let's continue playing some more Asphalt 8, and today I will be doing a multiplayer protest of this beauty that you see right there on the screen, and this is the Lotus Evora Enduro GT. Oh, what a beauty of a small car this is! Man, I really haven't done a whole lot of tests of Lotuses, but today is the day when I do another one, so... Let's do this, but before I jump into it, you know what to do. If you enjoy my content, why don't you hit the like button, as well as subscribing to the channel, because remember that I post literally every single day, so there's always something to watch, and there's always a lot of asphalt data around. So, yeah, go ahead, do it for DBT, do it for the channel. But all right, so what is the deal with this car? Well, this is a car of the rank of 1322 when at Pro, which not only is in the highest bracket of all of Class D, it's also the highest rank within this bracket. Now, obviously, Class D has a bunch of brackets. We have the, what is it, 993 bracket, the uh, 1050, 1140, 1230, and the biggest or the highest bracket in Class D is this one, the 1320. But this is at the highest rank possible for the bracket. So, does this make, se does this, make this a king of Class D? I guess we're gonna find out. So, I'm gonna go, as usual, into multiplayer, classic series. In fact, I haven't played any multiplayer today. And don't mind, I don't know when this video is coming out, so it could be literally in a few days from when I record it. It could be in a couple of weeks, who knows? So, I'm at the very, very, very start of this league. Let me select the car, activate some boosters. And as usual, here are the stats of the car with the tuning kit applied, in case you're curious about that. But yes, let's get into the races, start it up, and see what we get matched against. So you may have noticed that my car is looking super nice with a fancy fancy livery. That is one of the many liveries that I spent a lot of credits buying right before um, all of the liveries that were sold for, for tokens or for credits were changed into being only purchased purchasable for vouchers. Now I already made a video on that topic, link should be appearing in the top right about now if I remember to put it there. But either way, so that's why I have this livery. If you want to get this livery, probably you can get it for vouchers nowadays. So it's on the, it's premium now. But anyway, so what is the deal with this car? Well, first of all, I'm going to tell you right away that the weakest point of this car from what I've seen, from what little I have driven it overall, it's the nitro duration. And that is a bit unfortunate because, man, this car looks absolutely killer, even without this livery. I'll show you what the car looks normally. But even without this specific livery, the car looks absolutely nice. It's a Lotus with a big wing, you know, that Lotus S or what? Well, I don't know if you know. But Lotus cars, for the most part, tend to be very small cars, very light cars, except for something like the Avia. But that's electric and that's a, a change of direction for the brand, but whatever. The point is that Lotus cars tend to be very small. They tend to be very light. So when you have a... Oh, man, there goes my Nitro. Ah, yep, as expected, nitro issues. Um, so yeah, when you see a, a, a small little car with a big wing, you're like, oh yeah, that looks dope. Now the big, the, the wing isn't as big as I could want it to be, but it's still pretty respectable for a wing on a small car. So, god damn it. Um, I'm telling you, this car sadly suffers from bad nitro. And when we're talking about classy cars where they're relatively slow, I mean, compared to something like, well, in any other class, really. Um, then when you have a car on a slow class that has bad nitro, it's a horrendous combination. Because when you have a car of class, I don't know, class B, class A, even class S, but it has bad nitro, they're still relatively fast cars or very fast cars that you can finish a lap in a minute or something like that, right? So then the bad nitro isn't as problematic, but over here in a lap that took me over a minute and a half to finish, granted with a couple of knockdowns, but still, I uh, would have probably finished, yeah, at 1.30 approximately. Uh, when you have laps that are this long and you have a car with bad nitro, it is a massive problem. And that is unfortunately one of the problems or maybe the main problem of this absolute beauty of a car. And just like that, I ranked up, but I didn't rank up, I just got into the amateur league. But I want to show you the car in the regular colors because the car by itself looks pretty cool, like I just mentioned. So let me remove this, and this is the default livery for the car. And while I normally don't love cars in black, this with the, what is this? Um, I don't know if that's supposed to be gold or just sand color, whatever it is. Um, but with those accents, it looks kind of dope, though it's still not my favorite. But then you can change the color, and then you can see it in a different light. Well, not different light. Oh, this one looks absolutely fantastic. Just look at it. With the red accents. Oh, yeah. 
Um, we got this one too with the blue accents. We got it here with more of this gold slash sand slash copper, whatever that, that is. And we got it also in red with more white accents. So it's kind of similar to this, only brighter, and it removes this having a different color instead that makes it all white. Now, there's also a bunch of libraries for this thing. Now, obviously, like I just mentioned, all of the libraries nowadays are uh, vouchers, which is a bit unfortunate. If you didn't take the opportunity, this one I like. Again, black car, but it looks kind of dope. Um, if you didn't take the, the opportunity to buy the libraries for credits when they were available for credits, well, that's kind of bad. But that's why you should be subscribed to DBT's channel, because when DBT finds about this type of things, DBT makes videos on this situation, selling like, hey, maybe you want to start doing this. And like I mentioned, I did make a video. Look at this thing. Oh, looks super dope. Um, so yeah, some interesting, very lotusy looking thing. Um, there's this is the one that I was just using. This one looks kind of dope as well. This one I like, but I don't have it. Some of these I couldn't get because they were you could only buy them for tokens, and you know I didn't want to spend my tokens in that. But all right, let's continue driving this car because I should say suffering with this car really. So again, it's a bit unfortunate that this car suffers from the bad nitro because. Like I just explained in the previous race, we got relatively longer races because we were driving slower cars and bad nitro is not a good combination. And then you have cars like something that was really easy to get for a while, like the like the Countach, um, the Mura. Those had pretty, pretty decent. Now the Countach actually had some very good nitro. The Mura, I don't remember. I think at the very least is decent, but I know also there's the Aston Martin something that it's also super strong in this bracket. So, God. All right, that wasn't a nitro issue. That was just the bad luck of getting knocked down. Um, but yeah, when you have a bunch of cars that do have a, some really good nitro, when you ha happen to drive a car like this that has bad, has bad nitro, it's like, well, I'm just at a massive disadvantage. And while the meta of the game has been acceleration for quite a while, um, the nitro is also a massively important thing, especially in these slower cars. Because, again, Let's remember that a race that maybe will take me like a full minute, minute and ten maybe to finish over here might take me 50 seconds to finish with a class um, S car. So over there, if I have a car that has this level of nitro, well, it's still going to be challenging, but it's not as big a, a, a deal. But over here, unfortunately, this car just, and any car really that has bad nitro is really going to be a, a bit of a, of a problem. Instantly, the moment that you lose your nitro, you're a, you lose a ton of speed because obviously the nitro gives you a lot of speed. And um, that also means that you're completely susceptible, vulnerable to any knockdown by anybody that's use, that is using the slightest tiny bit of nitro. So it, it is a very unfortunate situation for this car. And I wish that this was rebalanced because while I agree that some, some changes... Oh, that's the one I was talking about, the DB9 Coupe. Yep. I don't know about the other ones. The SR Vault, huh? Um, all right, yeah, that's not a great result, they said. Damn. Well, if you want to see the ultimate pain and suffering, we're on the right track with the right car. Monaco, an incredibly long track with a car that has no nitro. Let's go. But yeah, as I was saying, I do... I, I've been a, a, a very loud defender of the idea of having cars with different stats, some cars that are better at some things, cars that are better at other things. But in this case in particular, with bad nitro on slow cars, it's just, mm, it just feels like a massive, uh, what's the, the word, handicap that you are driving with, um, with slow cars and bad nitro. Yeah, bad nitro for any car is bad, like I mentioned, but seriously, it, this problem amplifies massively over here. So, well, it is what it is, sadly. This car has already, already been rebalanced, so it's not like Gameloft is gonna do another pass and re-rebalance it, unless someday Gameloft wakes up and they're like, oh, you know what, we should probably change the balance of all of the cars in the entire game again for no reason. Which, honestly, if they were to add a variety of stats, like, yeah, maybe this has bad nitro, but it's faster than average. Uh, maybe this, oh God. Oh, I'm so sorry, buddy. I was drifting away from you. I didn't want to push you. All right. Let the record show that I was drifting away. I wasn't trying to knock him down. So are you telling me that in a race that it's ridiculously long, I'm going to get a half decent result at fourth place? I mean, this would put me in the top third of the players here. So, huh. Well, let's not... Let, how, do, how does that saying go? Let's not count the chicks before they hatch. Something like that. Because, um, yeah, anything could happen. But yeah, I'm focusing on trying to get all the nitro that I can. Fortunately, I guess I'm so slow that it has uh, all of these nitro bottles have, have plenty time for them to respond while I'm getting to when I'm getting to them. But yeah, unfortunately, man, this car suffers. But you know what? That actually makes me curious. Is this car even acquirable nowadays? I think I'm gonna check 
right about now. Well, after this race, really. Uh, fourth place, surprising result, really, in a track that I thought I was gonna be getting in dead last, but hey, you know what? Maybe there were other people also suffering. Well, there was some unboosted people, so that helped me. Did get beaten by two Aston Martins. Uh, there's the Project Black Special Edition, which I understand is very strong as well. Uh, they beat all of this stuff. All right, cool. Sorry, buddy. I really wasn't trying to knock you down, so yeah. All right, let's, let, me, let me see what's the deal with this car. So I just checked in my other account, my empty account, um, to see if this car was, was by any chance being sold in the store or anything, but no, the car is not available to purchase. And that's a good thing, because honestly, I'm just gonna say it straight up. You shouldn't get this car. It really, there's no reason for you to get it other than for collection, or maybe you like Lotuses, or maybe you like cars with big wings and all that stuff. Maybe for that reason alone. But in terms of the performance of this car, normally I'm okay with driving cars that are not amazing and all that, but trying to be objective over here as to if this would be a good investment of your tokens if, if it went on sale for tokens, I honestly don't think so. Again, only for collection value, but nothing else. There's other cars that you can get easier that are much better than this. So don't worry too much about this. You don't have it. It's fine. Don't worry. You don't need it. Trust me. Um, but yeah, and actually that does make me wonder a little bit how this car was available uh, when it first released. I have no idea. Now, the name kind of tells me that it could be indeed uh, one of the cars for the Enduro events, which I don't know too much about those events because I wasn't playing back then. Um, I understand this was around 2018 or something like that. Remember, I started playing around 2020. So I really don't know about what's the deal on those Enduro events. I don't know how they were. All I know is that they were very, very difficult to complete. Um, but that's, that's all the knowledge that I have. Is this an Enduro car? Is that why it's called Enduro? I don't know. Maybe. I'm just guessing over here. But the point is that I have no idea how it was available. I think I got it at some point, either through a master key or some sale, because obviously I did not purchase this car for tokens when they were when the cars were normally be sold. Ah, f see what I'm saying about the nitro issues? Um, I definitely wouldn't have spent tokens on this thing uh, back when the cars were sold for fusion points and credits. So yeah, I don't know. I really don't remember how I got this car. I don't remember when I brought it out, but I've had it there for a while. And I was really happy to drive it once it got rebalanced. But unfortunately, well, I did manage to keep that fourth place by probably just like a hair or something. Check this out. Uh, fourth and fifth. Yeah, we finished at the same at the same time, but I guess I won. Um, yeah, no idea. No, I, I was really excited once this car was going to be rebalanced because I'm like, ooh, now is when it's going to shine. But nah. actually, we were driving the exact same car, this guy and myself. Lovely lovely to see oh you know what i'm gonna change the color of the car because this looks fancy but i don't know want to drive something else but listen at the end of the day i still like the car because it looks nice you know that i'm a huge fan of racing looking vehicles you know with the with the big wings a bunch of aero around none of that and that's exactly what this car looks like so i'm fine with it um even if it doesn't perform i still like to bring bring it from time to time just because you know why not drive drive variety and I understand, I've, I've talked about this to no end, but I, I think it's always worth mentioning it that people play the games for different reasons and while there's some people, uh, probably the majority of people who are mostly focused on getting W's and there's some weird people like myself that are more about ah, let's just chill, drive a little bit, have some fun grab a bunch of cars that look nice and that's about it I'm gonna take the jump and do some flat spins because again, I need all the nitro that I can get and you know that helps even if it slows me down. I'm not gonna catch up to that first place because I still need to be trying to get all the nitro that I can, but hey, if I keep a second place, this will be pos possibly the best result that I'm gonna get in this video, so... Um, and remember, as I, as I like to say, all of these races are sequential, I'm not skipping anything, I'm not cherry-picking races or anything. That's right, I'm not gonna go down because I don't know if these cars can do the jump down there. Yeah, let's go over here. Thank you for the reminder, guy on first place, I appreciate you for it. Um, but what was I saying? Oh, I missed, I missed, oh man. I missed the, the, the barrel roll. It's fine, it's fine, I'm still alive. Um, yeah, I just like driving some cars and have some fun with them. Even if I don't get the best results, it's fine. I just like driving, because look at this thing. Oh, it's so beautiful. Yeah. Uh, and this livery looks kind of dope. I kind of like it. I, again, another one that I got from from credits, or with credits. All right, got bitten by the Aston Martin DB9 compared. Look at this other... Is this car really strong and it just happens to have bad nitro? Honestly, I don't know. You know that I don't do proper um, reviews of cars and measuring, acceleration, and all of that. But as a whole, I still don't recommend this thing. Now, if you want to get a heart and a pin on this video, you need to leave me the key phrase in the comments, which for today is going to be Small cars with big wings are always a welcome sight. First person to post it gets a heart, gets a pin. Anybody else that posts it afterwards only gets a heart. 
So there you go. Um, yeah, like I was saying, Lotus cars in general tend to be very small, very light. Now, this car isn't the smallest. I'll say that much. If you compare this like to an Elise, this thing looks pretty big. But still, Lotus, that's kind of the deal with, the, with, with Lotuses. And talking about small cars with big wings, I'm still waiting and hoping that someday... Asphalt 9 at excuse me, Asphalt 8 adds this, adds this card that I saw in the cat. Let me try that again. I am hoping for the day that Asphalt 8 brings the card that... Third try! Third try! I am hoping <laughs> for the day that Asphalt 8 brings the card that I saw in Asphalt 9, the ATS um, RR Turbo Corsa thingy. It's a very small looking car, but it's a racing car. It has a ginormous wing. Oh, it looks absolutely beautiful. Um, so, yeah, I can only hope that that car is brought over here someday. But, man, we'll see. But, yeah, still, I like this car. Regardless of the fact that it's a terrible performer. And that is why I'm just miming around with it. I am never the one to be trying to speed run to elite here in classic season or even in master season ah uh, it's fine yeah obviously it's good to get as quickly as you can over there truly because of the tokens and whatnot but still i take my time i'd rather not stress about stuff just play have some fun even if i lose a bunch of races with a card that looks absolutely fantastic and i can live with that now as usual once again if you enjoy my content hit the like button because it helps the channel it helps with the score bearability remember to post the the keyphrase which i already gave you earlier and that's gonna do it for today thank you for watching and i'll see you in the next one bye bye